going with what was. Here's a story about Jenny and O'Leroy, how they were high school sweethearts, how Jenny really loved O'Lee hard and they were just going with what was. Now between the high school bells is when these fools fell deeply and madly in love. Now it was the summer of September and I could distinctively remember the first time that they ever met. His heart began to flutter, his words he would stutter, his stomach turned to butter, and his hands began to sweat. But quickly he got the nerves and courageously spoke the words and asked, can I please walk you to class? And in that five minute gap, it seemed as if eternity had lapsed and out of the blue, suddenly, unexpectedly, he made her laugh. And out of a badge, she took a pen, she wrote her number inside his hand. She said, after five, you can call. But thinking it would be safe, he quickly transposed her number to paper, took it home, and he thumbtacked it to the wall. Impatiently watched the clock, he counted the ticks and tocks, he felt that time had stopped. And about this new love, he began to wonder. But the time came, it did indeed, you should have seen this boy's dialing speed. He was maniacal at calling her number. And they talked throughout the night about the hopes and dreams of life. And eventually, they fell asleep on the phone. Now this went on for several months, and each other's voice is all they would ever want. And no one could ever say that it was wrong. But when the time goes lightning fast, could a love like that ever last? For they were only going with what was. And as the years came and went, it's no surprise or accident. They were still deeply and madly in love. Now Jenny went off to college with this love last, yes, undoubted. But only time could tell their story. See, Leroy became a Marine. This boy, he was built like a machine. He had aspirations of a soldier's glory. And everything was going great, passionate love they would often make. But sooner, the li- but sooner or later, the tide has got to change. See, Jenny became a little different every night and day. This girl was tripping. And Leroy said, man, my Jenny is beginning to act a little strange. But little did they know that inside, a baby was beginning to grow. And Jenny's moods would constantly swing. But see, Leroy was a good man. By Jenny's side, he would definitely stand. And a change in ways didn't mean a thing. But then them trades and us fell. And Jenny said, oh, hell, Leroy, you may have to leave. But then that brother pulled out the biggest rocket on one knee that brother got. And he asked Jenny, will you marry me? And as she began to tear up, her makeup began to smear up. For this is the only man that she had ever loved. Yes, indeed, she married him. And off the war, the U.S. carried him. And they were only going with what was. And every day at 12 o'clock, Jenny waited by the mailbox for her love letters from across the seas. Now it was just like September, the very first one we remember. When it was just young, spirited, and free. But see, Leroy's words are no longer nervous. They were precise and filled with purpose. He said, Jenny, your spirit is what keeps me. For there's bombs all around me and I haven't slept soundly. But we're closing in on the enemy. It's hotter than high noon. I've lost three in my platoon. But my spirit refuses to fall. So kiss our little baby and I'm going to get home safely. P.S. I love Shakanka all. Now this went on for several months and all Jenny would ever want is for her love to come back home. But it was clear and plain to see that this is how that came to be and no one could ever say that it was wrong. Jenny would often sit, cry and pray, God, if you just brought him back to me today, I would supply everything that he would ever need. Then one day out there on the front line, Leroy's platoon rolled over a landmine and there he lay bleeding and struggling to breathe. His boy's right leg was blown completely off. He gasped for air, he choked and coughed, but his spirit would never give in. So there he laid in a pool of blood, watching the sin turn to mud, clutching a photo of Jenny inside his hands. And then the medics came and I lifted him and back to the States they shifted him. And he was unconscious the entire way. And after two months he finally woke, he cleared his thoughts and finally spoke. But he was speechless because there she lay. I mean she was pressed tight with the arms wrapped around him, thinking to herself, thank God they found him. For God had delivered him home. Then suddenly words, he began to speak, Jenny, when I felt my heart could no longer beat. Your love was there, pushing strong. And I felt your eyes upon my soul, guiding me on and taking hold. Your spirit would never give in. And I knew at those moments, no matter what, I had to get back to feel your touch. I was determined to see you again. And she put her hands upon his lips. She said, Leroy, I prayed for you. With all my might, stayed by your side both day and night. I gave in only for time to sleep. See, it was his will and not my own. His love for you that brought you home. Baby, I just had to go with what was. And when I let go and I let God, baby, you woke up and you beat the odds. 
and I just had to go with what was. And I didn't know what I would ever do if I had to go on living without you. But I just had to go with what was. And Leroy, I found it kind of funny how God takes us, he blesses us, and then he breaks us, and he shows us truly what is love. And sometimes, baby, you just got to go with what was. Thank you.